This video outlines the procedure for setting dead load values to deduct the weight of fixtures and permanent tear vessels. Minibia terminology is somewhat different from other instrumentation. In the Convex menu, you will see the word preload when describing the function more commonly known as dead load, but both terms are identical in function. Unlike other menu adjustments, the dead load setting does not require entry of a service code to make changes. It is also advisable to leave the menu access switch in the locked position, making dead load changes easier to confirm when complete. To begin the process, we need to reassign the function of the ISO test key. We do so by entering the menu, and that's accomplished by turning the scale off, back on, and then pressing the tear key during the digit check. Once you've accessed the menu, press the function key to scroll to setup. Press the tear key until you see the word ambient on the display. Now press the function key several times, scrolling through several menu options until you see the word cal adjust. Press the tear key to get into the calibration menu and scroll with the function key touching the tear with set preload displayed. Hold the tear to exit to the weighing mode. Once the scale is stabilized, place your holding fixture on the scale and press the ISO test key, which has now been redefined as a set preload function. The scale will go to zero. If the fixture is removed, the scale will display L, and it will not be possible to tear or zero unless the fixture is in place. It is possible to change to different fixtures simply by adding the new tear vessel or fixture in place. Press the ISO test key again, and the new fixture will be set as the preload. Now it's always advisable once the preload adjustments are complete to go back into the menu and return the ISO test key to the Cal adjust function. We do so by following the steps listed on the left and enabling the ISO test key to return to its normal function of calibration. Now it's not uncommon to receive an error code when setting dead load. These errors usually occur when significant A to D changes have been made. Clear the errors by performing a service calibration. The service calibration differs from the normal calibration and will be described in a subsequent video. Now that our user has enabled the Cal E user function, again we exit to the weighing mode and run one final calibration. You do so by pressing the ISO test key, which is now back to its calibration function place the requested tear weight or the requested test weight on the platform and press the ISO key to, key to make a final correction. This concludes the dead load setup procedure for convex indicators.